Hello and welcome to Degree. In this video, we're going to show you how to install and set up your Degree thermostat. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes and only requires a Phillips screwdriver. In some cases, you may also need a flathead screwdriver to disconnect your previous system and a drill to help with mounting. Don't worry, we'll be with you every step of the way. You got this! Let's start by shutting down the power that controls your heating and cooling system by either using the power switch near your furnace and air handler or by shutting down the power that controls your system at the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker box is generally located in the garage or utility closet. If you're unsure which switch controls your furnace and air system, you can also turn off the main switch at the circuit breaker, which will shut off power to the entire home. Note that some thermostats have a battery built-in, so the screen may stay on even if the system power is off. You can check to ensure the power is off by changing the temperature and then waiting for a few minutes to make sure your system doesn't turn on. Once the system is powered off, remove any screws holding the cover to the wall and remove the display. Many models without screws simply pop off. You should now see wires coming from your wall into the thermostat's terminals. Degree thermostat is not compatible with high voltage systems. Do not proceed if your system has a warning label that reads 110 volts or higher, or if you see thick wires connected using a wire nut, or terminal locks labeled as L1 and L2, or any other caution warning or danger symbol. Take a clear picture of your current thermostat's wiring in case you need it for reference later. If you have a short jumper wire connecting the two terminals and not going into the wall, go ahead and remove it now as it won't be needed for your degree thermostat. To remove it, you may need to slightly unscrew a terminal or press down on the lever. Make sure not to remove any other wires going into the wall. Select the terminals that have wires connected. Degree thermostat comes with an optional C-wire adapter for systems that don't have a C-wire. Installing the C-wire adapter is easy. To start, open your HVAC system cover to expose the control board. Some systems may have two covers you need to remove. You will know you've made it to the control board when you can see wires connecting to the terminals labeled Y, W, G, and R. Take a picture of your control board wiring for reference. Attach the included labels to the matching wires on the control board. You should see a Y, W, G, and R wire. Once the wires are labeled, you can disconnect them from the control board. You may need to loosen the screws holding the wires to the control board in order to remove them. Mount the C-wire adapter to the inside of your HVAC system using the built-in magnet. Match the labeled wires you just disconnected from the control board to the terminals on the C-wire adapter. Insert each wire into the matching terminal hole and then tighten the screws on top using a flathead screwdriver. Now we're going to connect the C-wire adapter to your control board. The C-wire adapter has five wires labeled Y, W, R, G, and C. Connect each wire to the matching terminal on your control board and then tighten the screws to ensure the wires are securely connected. Replace the cover on your HVAC system. It is important to ensure the cover is securely locked into place, as some HVAC system has a switch that will prevent the system from turning on if the cover is not correctly in place. Follow the diagram in the Degree app to label the wires with the included stickers. It is okay if the label you place on the wire is not exactly the same as the terminal, which is currently connected to your old thermostat. For example, your system may be connected to Y, but will have a label that says Y1. If you install the Degree CWA, label the G wire on your old thermostat as C using the included stickers. The G wire becomes your C wire to power the Degree thermostat. Disconnect the wires from your old thermostat by loosening the screws or pressing the levers. Once all the wires have been disconnected, 
remove any screws holding the old thermostat or the mounting plate in place, and then gently pull it off the wall. Ensure the wires remain accessible and not fall back into the wall. Thread the wires through the center of the back panel. Use the built-in level to ensure the back panel is straight. And then screw the back panel to the wall. If you're mounting the thermostat to a plaster or concrete wall, you may need to pre-drill a new hole and use the included wall anchors. The easiest way to do this is to place the back panel where you want it, ensure it is level, and then mark where you'll be drilling the holes. Remove the back panel, drill the holes, and then push the anchors into place. Then replace the panel and screw it into the newly placed anchors. To connect the wires to the back panel, push the lever down and insert the wire to the hole nearest the center. Do not put the wire in the outward facing hole. When the wire has been fully connected, the lever will stay down. Gently press the degree thermostat onto the back panel. You will hear a click once the display is securely on the base. If your degree thermostat isn't attaching to the back panel or has one side going farther in than the other, it may not be pushed far enough in. Remove the thermostat and ensure wires are pushed back into the wall as much as possible and try again. Power on your HVAC system using the same method you use to turn it off. Verify your thermostat shows the screen above. Once you see the screen above, tap Next. That's it. Finish the setup in the Degree app and enjoy your new Degree thermostat.